So weighted averages are used in lots of different places. They're used in grades in some classes. They're used in um, uh, employee evaluations. They're used in athletic scores, um, such as in the Olympics and so forth. So it's important to know how to do them. We will look at an example of how to do that. Um, so the formula for a weighted average is actually equal to the weights, the scores, I'm sorry, times the weights added up and then divided by the total weight. I find the formula a little cumbersome to use, so I'm going to go ahead and do it a different way. Um, in this case, what we measured was a score. I see we have a lab score and test scores and final exam scores. So X is the score. And then I like to do a table. Um, the first thing I'll put down is what the actual um, uh, assessment is. And then I'll have the X value and its weight that goes with it. So we notice we have a lab. Um, we have two tests. So we'll call it test one and test two. And then we also have a final exam. So on the first test, I'm sorry, on the labs actually, we notice you got a 95, this person. Um, on the first exam, there's an 83. On the second exam, there's a 76. And on the final exam, the score was an 84. Now we have to figure out what the weights were. So the lab score is worth 15% of the course. So change your percent into a decimal. The two exams are each worth 25%. So we'll change both of those. Each of those weights is 25%. And then the final exam is worth 35% of the grade. Now if you look at the formula, it says to take x times w. So I like to make a column that is x times w. And then all i got to do is multiply those numbers together. So we're going to do 95 times 0.15. And we get 14.25. Then we'll take 83 times 0.25. And we get 20.75. And then 76 times 0.25. And that means a score of 19. And then the last one is 84 times 0.35, and that gets you a 29.4. As a reminder, this symbol here means to add them up. So now all you do is add up that column. So 14.25 plus 20.75 plus 19 plus 29.4, and that adds up to 83.4. And then we notice this bottom says to add up the weights, so we add up these four weights, and it turns out we end up with exactly one. Um, a lot of times the sum of the weights is one, but sometimes it's not, so don't always assume it is. And now to find our weighted average, we just take this total here of 83.4 divided by the sum of the weights, which was in this case one, and so your score in this biology class is 83.4. If it's on a regular scale, you now have a B in the course. And that's all there is to it.